teflon amide actually is the most studied of all the disease modifying drugs that we have because it's been involved in more studies than pretty well any other drugs some five or six randomized controlled studies that have taken place over the last 25 years uh, starting the first trial back actually at the, at the start of the millennium. Uh, and so we've got data from the phase two study, and that's what we were publishing on last year. These are the original patients who went on uh, teraflunamide or placebo, but eventually moved over to teraflunamide. Uh, and we followed them, uh, some of them, well out to, to 20 years. And the concern is that you know, are there any long-term effects on lymphocyte depletion? And we do see mild lymphocyte depressions, but they're not anywhere near the kinds that we see with some of the cell depleting therapies that so are quite moderate. Uh, but that's how the drug works. It, it, it actually depletes the substrate for DNA replication. And it's expected that you'd have a slightly lower lymphocyte count. Overall, the infection rates is, was quite low and going out a substantial time period from the original uh, study, we didn't see any late stage problems that were not identified early on. So there's always the concern that if you're on a drug that may have some uh, suppression, it's not an immunosuppressive, but it might have such effect that what you see early on is, you know, within two years, great. But what if you're on it for five years? What if you're on it for longer? Are you going to develop some things because of your chronic exposure to the drug? And important question that we have to have with many drugs that we have today. Uh, but that one with the teraflutamide tells us there are no late stage uh, events that were not already identified early on. And so it's safe. It's safe in the long term.